terraform apply press enter so let's copy the ip address and paste it into the browser colon 3000 press enter so you can see in one click we can deploy our node.js application into the ac2 installs hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in the today's video we will see how we can deploy our node.js app on the AWS EC2 instance with the help of Terraform and Ansible. So let's start with the video. So for this video, we need a Terraform and Ansible installed on our machine. So if you don't have Terraform and Ansible installed on your machine, so then you can go to my YouTube channel uh, where I have created a video on how to install a Terraform in Mac OS. So or you can uh, follow the official documentation so from where you can download and install the Terraform and Ansible. So I already have Terraform. So you can check the version. So I have 1.4.6 version of Terraform. And we can check the Ansible also. So as you can see Ansible is already installed. So let's move on to the first part. So this is the sample Node.js app which I have created. So I have used Express Framework. So we will deploy this application onto the EC2 instance. So for this project, I have created a Docker file. So using this file, this file will create the Docker image for the Node.js app and this app will run in the Docker container. So in this file, you can see we have used Node 16 Alpine version and we have set the working directory to app folder and then we have copied the package.json file into the working directory and then we have installed the dependencies and then copy the rest of the files and then we have exposed our 3000 port on which our node.js application is listening after that we have used a command npm start so this command will run the app into the container I already uploaded this app onto github so you can check it out so this is the uh, repository node.js demo where you can find the app.js file and the docker file so we will use this repository into the ansible configuration file next i have created a terraform file which will create the ac2 instance and set up all the infrastructure on the aws account so this is the main terraform file so as you can see, we have uh, required providers, AWS provider, and then we have initialized the provider. So for initialization, we need access key and secret key. So let's go to uh, AWS account. So this is my AWS account. Let's create a new user. Demo user. Attach existing policy. Select administrator access, click on next and create user. So then click on the demo user, go to the security credentials, create access key. Select the first option command line interface. I understand the work configuration recommendation. So this is the description. So this is the access key and secret key. Copy the access key and paste it here. Copy the secret key and paste it. So in this way, we can initialize the AWS provider. So in this block, we are creating a PAM file or a private key. And we will use this private key to generate our AWS key pair. And then we are storing the uh, private key PAM file into our local machine as well. Next, we have created a security group. In this security group, we have opened 22 port and 3000 port. And uh, we have uh, opened all traffic for the outgoing. So in this block, we are creating the AWS instance. So here I am using the Ubuntu's image. And I am using the instance type T2 micro. 
so here i am uh, assigning the key pair which i have already created and uh, here i am assigning the security group so in this block i have called the ansible playbook so once the instance is launched so this command will execute so let's see the ansible file configuration which we have created docker install so in this file we have created some task so the first task is update the app repository so next command is install the docker dependencies so next we have install the docker compose next we will clone the node.js app from our repository so this is the url for the node.js app and this is the destination folder where our node.js app will clone next we will uh, build the docker image using the docker file which is already present in the node.js app next we will run the docker image which we have created into the docker container so this is the ansible file so as you can see i have used this file docker install.yml in the ansible playbook so this is the ip of the aws instance which we have created so we have specified user ubuntu and then the private key so this is the location where our private key will be generated and this is the file name of the pem file so let's deploy our node.js application so first go to the folder so as you can see these are the file so first we have to initialize the terraform so we can use command terraform in it so this will install the required dependencies which we have specified in the terraform file so this is done so to check the plan we can use command terraform plan so here we have to enter the name of the uh, pem file code sagar let's say code sagar so this is the plan so as you can see this is the aws instance we are creating we will be using the ubuntu the image instance type t2 micro pem file code sagar and so on so this is the key pair we are generating and this is the security group to run this file we can use the command terraform apply so this command will create the ac2 instance first on the aws and then this will install the docker and clone the application node.js application and then this will run the application into the docker container press enter enter the name of pem file say code sagar press enter enter yes and press enter so you can see this is creating ec2 instance so let's go to our aws account search for ec2 click on instances so as you can see one ec2 instance is created currently it's in initializing state so here we are getting some issue so the path we have provided for the pem file which is not correct so let's change this path so get the latest path copy this path and paste it here so let's destroy first so this will delete the ec2 instance which we have just created so you can see so let's apply again press enter code sagar and then yes
so this will create a new ec2 instance so instance is creating and sure file is executing installing docker dependencies install docker compose cloning the node.js app building the image running the code so that's all so let's copy the ip address and paste it into the browser colon 3000 because our application is running on 3000 port press enter so you can see in one click we can deploy our node.js application into the ac2 install in the next video we will use the jenkins and uh, we will uh, use a subdomain instead of this ip so hope you like this video if you are getting any issues or any error so you can comment in the comment section i will love to reply so if you like this content Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more such videos. Thanks for watching.